Towards the end of lesson 1.4, we figured out these two important key concepts and what they mean about photosynthesis, as well as the biotic and the abiotic matter within the ecosystem that is involved in this process. We determined that carbon, which is a type of atom, is a part of carbon dioxide in the air, which is an abiotic or a non-living part of the ecosystem. We also determined that carbon is a part of the energy storage molecules as well, which are bionic parts of the ecosystem. And that it's during this process of photosynthesis where producers or our plants make these energy storage molecules using this carbon from carbon dioxide, along with energy from sunlight as well as water, and that this process moves carbon from our abiotic to our biotic parts of the ecosystem. And if you recall, our Econauts team did not have an ecologist as a member of their group. And so it's going to be up to us as the experts, as the scientists here, to explain this knowledge that we're figuring out to our Econauts in a way that they can understand so that they are able to learn from their mistakes and build a better, more sustainable biodome moving forward. So we're gonna take a moment to model how this process of creating or developing or producing energy storage molecules in an ecosystem works. If you have access to Amplify Online, you're gonna move into activity two and use the modeling tool to do this. If you aren't working in Amplify Online and you're using your piece of paper in front of you, you're gonna go ahead and draw out this model, again, keeping this goal in mind, showing where the energy storage molecules in an ecosystem come from. And before you pause the video to do that, I wanna bring up my modeling tool so that you can see a reference point for how you wanna draw your own. 